What is up guys? I'm back once again with yet another Tesla Powerwall video. In today's video, I'll be reconfiguring my pack. It's pretty much what I did last time, but today I just want to switch up on how my bus bars work. So what I have here is I have some thin copper. And what I'm planning on doing is basically ripping all three packs apart and laying these across like that on each row of cells so yeah the reason why i'm doing that is because with what i have now i only have four bus bars and if i am in the future going to be getting a bigger inverter it probably will make these heat up far too much and then they'd eventually break so at the start i pretty much just put these together as a test and it seems to be working with this small inverter but as I've already said, it's not going to work with these thin bus bars in the future, so that is why I want to do it this way. Pretty much all the inspiration from the Facebook Powerwalls forum, and that's how they do it. As these are pulled apart, I'm going to be switching out the cells with some of the red, with the LGDBHE21865s. These are rated 2500 milliamp hours each. So these are really nice cells. Um, the turquoise ones, Samsung cells, they are 2000 milliamp hours each. So mainly I just use those for aesthetics. And then some of the green ones are like 1500 milliamp hours each. And the, some of the other red ones are pretty low as well. So I'm hoping to switch those out so I can have a higher density pack. So I don't have to uh, order any more cell holders in. So that would be good. I also got some of these cells, got the grey and pink ones. The NCR 18650s, which are really good. So yeah, I'm going to start unbolting the pack and getting it ready to go. So I'll chuck it on time lapse and just enjoy. So now I've pretty much got the pack unbolted. Uh, open for me to work on now. So really what I'm trying to do is I'll be over time changing all the bus bars. I'm not going to try and do it all at once because it's going to take a long time and I may not have enough copper bus bars. Yeah, so basically I'm going to be working on one of them at the start. If I have enough copper and time, then I'll obviously start working on the other ones. And yeah, so this is going to be um, pretty hard to do with all the fuses and stuff, but it's better now changing it than later on when I've pretty much done all of the other packs that I'm planning on making in the future the same as this one. So I better get to it. I'll start pulling this apart and then we'll start switching out some of the other cells with the lower capacity ones. I thought I'd just give you a closer look at the pack. So really what I'm going to be doing is obviously taking these off and then basically just getting pliers and just ripping this bus bar off straight off pretty much. The zoom isn't really that good on this. You can see how I've done it. It's just a thin copper wire with like little fuses breaking off it. So four of those, and then they all tie into one connector. And really it's not good enough for the current. And it also doesn't make the whole pack as a whole balance with each other properly, because I noticed that if you measure from this part and then that part on the other side with negative and positive on the multimeter, it gets a different reading from when you measure from here to here. So it seems that it's not balancing correctly because maybe the um, wires are too thin and it's not evenly distributing the power. Anyways, so I'm going to try and work on that. That is the pack now and I'm basically just going to start ripping it apart. So here's the other side of the pack. I'm pretty much just going to get straight into it. Um, I'm probably not going to film all the other packs just because it's pretty much the same process the whole time. There we go, that actually came with it, which is surprising. So maybe my solder joints weren't the best. This wasn't really the most permanent setup ever. I kind of knew in the back of my head that it wasn't the best, but obviously that's what I'm doing now is improving it. And hopefully after I put the new bus bars on, it should be good to go for a while, hopefully. I'm just gonna keep ripping off the remaining bus bars and I'll see you once I've finished it up. So I'm back again and all the fuses are all taken off, the bus bars are all freed up, so pretty much this leads me 
or leaves me to be able to take this off. Yeah, these aren't the easiest to get open, so it might take a little bit just to pry it up. Here we go. And there we are. Got this up. So that's the holder. These are um, 4x5 holders. And I think they're a better value than the 1x1s. So there we go. And now I've just got to try and work out how much cells I'm actually going to use. As I've already said, I'm not going to do all the packs. I might actually have to do them all so I can make sure that I have the right amount of cells distributed throughout the whole bank. So yeah, that might be a little annoying. The ones I'm replacing are these ones here. You can see that these ones here are pretty good cells, or I know they're good cells. And then you can see here pretty much just mix match cells. And yeah, they're not the highest capacity either. So yeah, I'm going to try and remove all those, put some reds in it. I'll probably take the cells out here, because what's the point of them being in the middle? I can use them on the outside. So I'll probably flip those over and then I'll obviously change these ones out here since these were two separate packs before. You may have seen that from the other video. So yeah, I've got a bit of work ahead of me, so I better just dive straight into it. I have to try and work out what I've got to spare and then just distribute them throughout the packs. So, so I now have all these cells done for each pack. So now I'm just going to put them all in here. So now I've got the pack done. So it's pretty good. I've got all the outside turquoise cells done. And now I'm basically just going to start soldering up cells. What's up? I'm back and I just want to show you my process so far on rewiring my cells. As you can see, I've got the bus bars running up and then going across, joining up with all the other ones. How I did this is I punched a few holes in each um, row. So then this copper could go through and then I also did holes at the bottom. I just threaded through the copper and then used the clips as a point where I could wrap around the copper wire so then it would stay still. This allows me to change the tension of this. Because right now it's kind of loose, all I have to do is pull this back to tension it up and that's the same with all of them. And yeah, I really like how it looks, or it definitely has a lot higher current capability than what the previous one had. If I do a side-by-side -side comparison, a very, very thin wire connecting all the cells and then another thin wire and then two more, and then those connect together. Now we've got this massive wire which then daisy chaining kind of thing. Yeah, I've got cable ties holding this down. It's pretty strong. Um, it's not really going anywhere, which I like. Yes, yeah, it's just looking really nice. Still got to do the other side and then the fuses. Doing this without any fuses or anything probably took maybe like 45 minutes, so it's not quick. I'm just going to get straight back into it. I have now finally got the pack done. And when I say done, I mean just the bus bars, not the fuses. So um, I'm really liking the look of it. But yeah, it looks really nice. You can see that they're really just a lot better than what they were before, if you think of it like that. It's very organized. If you look at the fuses, they're all, all nice and guided all the way to the top. So yeah, and then if we turn this around, then we've got the negative side. So yeah, I can't wait to start putting the fuses on and seeing if the capacity has increased since I've changed the cells. I just get a better connection, I guess. Um, obviously, I'm going to work out how to do the top parts now since I've got negative and positive over here. I didn't want them next to each other because, you know, it's kind of close to short. So now since they're on the opposite corners, it makes it a lot better. But yeah. I like the look of it, it's looking really nice to be honest, and I'm going to uh, somehow work out a way to get the fuses on and get this thing going. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more Tesla Power Update videos, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.